for your housewarming. I'm really gonna enjoy this party. Whatever happens here, all fingers are pointing at you. Wrong. Right now, I'm having dinner with two upstanding citizens who will testify to that in any court. If you think you're gonna rape me, Dave, you're gonna have to kill me first. Well, whatever it takes. <laughs> I told you, no one ever says no to me. <laughs> This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack, patty whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack, patty whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. I do. Hey, welcome to Washington State, miss. Can I see your drive lessons, please? I was doing under 65. That's right. You were even doing under 60. So what's the problem? Annie Walker. Well, oh, you're a long way from home. Well, what's the matter? Oh, nothing, honey. Go back to sleep. Hello, young lady. It seems like your mom had a heavy foot. You said I was doing under 60. That's right. In a 30-mile zone... What? When did that happen? There's a sign posted right after the Welcome to Redwood sign. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see it. How much is this going to cost me? Fifty dollars. Are you passing through? No, actually. I'm coming to town to interview for a job with your boss. Really? Huh. Well, in that case, you can pay the citation when you drop by the station house. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. He's a nice person. Yeah. Sarah, get the bed, and I'll take the couch. Max, you're not going to I love my couch. Was this not my bed all the way through med school? Well, yeah, but... No buts. Did you enjoy your trip? Yeah. You know, we got a speeding ticket. You did? Yo, Miss Daytona. What do you do, get you coming into town? Yep. Mm-hmm, join the club. They got me, too. Fifty bucks? Exactly. I have an appointment to see the sheriff? Yeah, he's expecting you. He's in there. 
Thank you. Sheriff? Miss Walker. Good morning. Come on in. Dave Ward. Pleasure. I guess my breaking the law wasn't the best way for us to meet. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I was just having a little fun. Uh, you do have a sense of humor, right? I always thought so. Sit down. Okay. Let's take a look. Four years with the Cincinnati PD. Good recommendations. So what do you want with Small Town USA? I have an eight-year-old daughter. And the city was just burning both of us out. So why here? My sister moved here a couple months ago. She finished her medical internship and she got a job at the clinic. Oh, Maxine. The happy face. That's her. And she raved so much about this place, I started dreaming about it, and here I am. So is there Mr. Walker? Walker's my maiden name. I'm divorced. Your father was a cop. Yeah, he was killed 15 years ago, on the job. Well, I like what I see on the application, and I checked some of your references, but I don't know if it's going to work out. May I ask why not? Well, you're awful cute. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. <laughs> so, you think you can teach us country folk what real police work is like? I know police work and I need a job. Well, it just so happens I need a new deputy. So, you're hired. Really? Really. <laughs> so you got any ideas about where you're gonna live? It's gonna be kind of hard for your sister to put you up in that tiny little place of hers. It's a small town. Nothing happens here I don't know about. Why don't you give, um, give Pete Dumphy a call? He'll help you out. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, you remember that when you're knee-deep in horse manure pushing a stuck tractor. <laughs> Most of our crimes around here are natural discomforts. Patty! Be my new deputy, Annie Walker. <clears throat> Congratulations. Welcome. Thank you. Set up an appointment for a uniform. Judging your size, the county ought to save a little money on material. I'll see you Monday morning, 8 o'clock sharp. Okay. Oh, um, excuse me. Um, where do I pay this? Right here. Perks of the job. I hope I'm not calling too late, Mr. Dunphy. I'm new in town, and Sheriff Ward suggested that you might be able to help me find a place to live. Great. Okay, I'll wait for your call. Thank you. Bye-bye. Why can't we just stay here at that max? Not enough room, hon. Don't worry, we'll find a place close by. Can I see your van? Okay. Just this one look, and that's the last time. Same rules as in Cincinnati. Uh -huh. It's a 38, just like Grandpa's. Standard cop issue. Okay, honey, get ready for bed. Okay, come back for kisses. Oh. You're the new deputy. Annie Walker. Mark Thatcher, county prosecutor. Pleasure. Well, Annie, if you uh, need some legal advice or just a cup of coffee, I'm right around the corner. Great, thank you. Okay. Carry on, men. Morning. Morning. Oh, uh, hi. I'm uh, Howard. And this is Rich. Annie Walker. Morning. Morning, Sheriff. It's Dave. Now, why can't you look this good in uniform, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you ready for work? Yep. Now, what do you say we start around in the welcome wagon, boys? Change your life. Look younger. Okay, I'll buy it. What's the welcome wagon? 
Yeah, from what I hear, you already experienced it coming into town. You mean my ticket? Yeah, that's her. We grab the speeders when they hit town. Guess you don't have that back in the big city. Huh? Well, we do. It's just handled by the highway patrol. Yeah, well, around here, we are the highway patrol. The town police and any other law enforcement agency you can think of. Get much crime? Yeah, they get more than our share. We're only 50 miles from the Canadian border, so you get your smugglers. Drugs? Drugs, guns. Cigarettes are a big market right now because of Canadian tax. And don't start thinking you're going to sleep through this job. I-5-0, Charles Gates, Give it five hours and then come back to the station. Don't let anybody talk you out of a ticket. Dave doesn't like favors unless they come from him. And don't say I told you. You better stay in this clearing while head from the approaching traffic. See ya. quiet around here. Yeah, small town. Can I take any one of these desks? Um, it won't matter to Howard, but um, Rich is real territorial. You're safe with that one. Thanks. <laughs> Sexual abuse and battery. His own kid. I walk right in on him. He still denies anything. Eddie. Man. I need your help. She won't talk to me. You dealt with this kind of thing before? Yeah. You see what you can do? Okay. What's her name? Christy Brandon. Christy? Christy, honey. My name is Annie. And I'm gonna help you. I'm not gonna let anybody hurt you, okay? The girl told me what he did. I sent her to the clinic for physical. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have lost my temper. 
I'm sorry, I saw that. It's hard to look at that little girl and not lose your temper. I've seen cops lose it before. You know, you could hurt my career. I would never do that. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. You go three miles past the red barn and you'll turn left. Thank you, Mood. Excuse me. Can I talk to you? Sure. What happened yesterday? Shouldn't have happened. And it can't happen again. We're both emotional and. And you know that I'm married. Even if you weren't, I can't have that kind of relationship where I work. So if I wasn't married and we didn't work together, then... You're a nice man, Dave. But? No. Fair enough. Oh, uh, you know, I noticed that you only gave out nine citations on the welcome wagon yesterday. Yeah? Well, that's way down from usual. Are you sure you weren't sporting a blind eye? No. Hmm. Well, I was just checking. Dunphy. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. You found it. It wasn't easy. I like that, for starters. Good. Come on in. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, let's see. It sits on two acres. Uh, there's a separate cabin. You could use as an office or guest quarters, and the furniture is included. It's only been in foreclosure three days. So I have to move fast. Very. What's the price? One eighty. Any leeway? Maybe in a month if it doesn't sell. Oh, that's never gonna happen. Well, I'm not gonna waste your time. My life savings total twenty-one thousand dollars. That swing it? You a two-income family? Ah. Could you talk to the bank manager? I am the bank manager. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here as a favor to Dave. Maybe I should start looking at rentals. Well, hang on. Let's not give up on this so fast. Um, you can tell you want it, so uh, why don't the numbers crunch and see where we stand. 
Okay. Okay. Do it tomorrow. Okay, listen up. Everybody works tonight. And when Kenny Sheriff just called us, a shipment of coke headed our way. Deal's supposed to go down to the Mad Bronco. I need someone for inside. Annie? You want to get your feet wet? What do I do? Get yourself all dolled up for undercover. Sure. Okay, boys and girl. We party tonight. Did I say yes too fast? Well, I don't think it was all that voluntary. I thought drugs meant DEA. Like I said, not in this county. Uh, Annie? Rich here tells me that the, uh, the brush around the posted speed limit sign has been kind of cut back. You know anything about that? Motorists couldn't see it clearly. So you helped them? Yeah. Well, you ought to know that those citations pay the salary of every man in this room. Well, I just figured with that amount of obstruction that any motorist would have legal grounds to overturn a citation. Overturn a citation? In my county? <laughs> well, boys, meet a real big city cop. You gotta give her credit, though. She's an honest one. Rich, go find me a new place that I post a speed limit sign, the kind I like. And don't you ever do anything like that again, yeah, understand? <laughs> When you get a bark and not a bite, you're doing good. I'm ready. To brush? Uh huh. <laughs> Just a minute. One minute. Did you find a house yet? No, but I'm working on it. I want a swimming pool. Oh, I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. Kisses. Mm hmm. Big hug. Mm. Sleep tight. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, I should have warned you about that lock. It's not real solid. We, uh, we never fixed it because we don't have too many females in this room. This ought to be easier to conceal in your 38. So I'll just exchange it for that. Limits, Rich. You knock it off. Annie, say hello. Hello. Looking good. The mules haven't arrived. You can't tell if the money's inside yet. You go on in there and take a look around. And don't drink if you can't hold it. Oh, <laughs> 
kind of stuff was happening in my place. You know I'd be the first to call you. Bell, just put your wine and bring us some more beers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, are these on the house? Oh, you know it any time. Stay thirsty, boys. Beers on me. Bell. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play the smoke. Yeah. Fine job tonight. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm guessing that you've done some undercover. Some? <laughs> so tell me, um, will that undercover work be confined to the job? It's late, Dave. I gotta go. That's all right. <laughs> Come in late tomorrow. I won't fire you. I gotta go. You know, I don't like being walked out on. Then take no for an answer, Dave. <laughs> I don't like no either. Don't! Don't! was going on because I didn't think it would be a problem so what do you want to do about it well I mean eventually he's gonna have to take no for an answer and if he won't quit quit hmm I didn't realize you were acquainted with that word one of us has to give yeah well why you ever hear of sexual harassment you know women do file lawsuits these days I've been a cop long enough that I know this comes with the territory it's a macho profession so that's the excuse? No, it's not an excuse, okay? In many ways, he is a great guy. I'm not going to screw up his family and his career over a couple of dumb passes. Seems to me he's the one making the dumb passes, so he's screwing up his career and family. Well, you make this sound so easy. Well, who said why it was easy? Now, wait a minute here. Why, why, why are you getting angry with me? I mean, do you want my advice, or are you just venting? I'm just venting.
it's a bad time, Annie. I'm full up with women's stuff this morning. Look, if this is about last night, I had too much to drink. I apologize over and out. This is about Fred Brandon. Well, that's not even your case. Christy was my case. You gave her to me. I just saw them together. Well, I didn't tell the county to give him the kid back. How can the county let him have her with those charges against him? Well, she's too afraid to testify. Howard can testify. He saw what happened. He can. If I let him. Well, you saw Brandon's face. How am I supposed to explain that in court? You know what's going to happen to that girl. Well, now, who the hell are you, anyway? My conscience all of a sudden? Fred Brandon knows if he so much as touches that girl up. He knows. Believe me. She's safe. And that's justice, right? She's safe, Annie. That's better justice than you'll get in any city in this country, so drop it. Hello? Hey, Pete. That's Dave. Dave, what can I do for you? Uh, Patty? Are you okay? What do you care? Did I do something to offend you? It was better before you came here. Better? Um, I don't know your situation, but if Dave is the question, I have no interest in him. I didn't say anything about that. No, I did. Just in case there is a situation, that's none of my business. I'm really not such a bad person once you get to know me. cocaine last night. Yeah. Well, I checked the evidence room. There's only one. Well, you know, maybe, uh, maybe Dave parked in the wrong place or something. I mean, ask him. Good morning. Hi. You get a minute? Tell me those numbers crunched. They did. Okay, you've got my life savings there. Ah. So please tell me that there's nothing wrong with this house. There's nothing wrong with this house. When can I move in? Anytime. I'll get your house keys. I really want to thank you for all your hard work. Oh, well, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, can I buy you dinner one night? What, am I too bold? No. I would just really like to show you my appreciation for everything you've done. Well, thanks. Uh, dinner would be great. Annie, got your house. I told you, nothing happens in this town I don't know about. Right, Pete? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I gotta run. Thanks. Okay. See you, Pete. Now, I want to ask you, do you know what happened to the second Coke bag from our bus the other night? I took it. You took it? Yep. How could you just take it? Well, I liked it. Cocaine? No, 
cocaine. I like the bag. You see any cocaine in it? It was part of the deal. Yeah, but did you see any cocaine in the bag? I didn't look. Well, I did. It was a dummy bag. Happens all the time. One bag is good, the other isn't. In case they're being chased, they gotta toss something out of the window. Confuses big city cops all the time. I've never heard of that. Well, you're a big city cop. I wrote up two bags in my crime report. Change your report. I can't do that. You want me to give back a perfectly good bag for no good reason? Cocaine or not, it's part of the crime scene. Girl, you have got a steel rod up your spine. It's no wonder you're divorced. Mike spent three years looking for the right job while I supported him and our daughter. And then one day, he came home with some bimbo's perfume. And I realized that I was his job. He'd been working me all those years. So I kicked him out. You fired him? Yeah. Yeah, fired him. <laughs> what about you? You ever fired anyone? Domestically? Nope. Never made the matrimonial trip. Almost once, but um, that didn't work out. So I, uh, I grabbed the first uh, job transfer out of Seattle, and here I am, four years later. You like it? Yeah, most of it. Can I ask you a personal question? If it's none of my business, just say so, and I'll understand. Hmm? Are you and Dave Ward? No. Oh. No way. Why'd you think that? Well, he put a lot of pressure on me to get you that house. He convinced me that you had a great future with the Sheriff's Department and that uh, you'd have no trouble making mortgage payments. So. Well, I'll thank him for that. But he's my boss. I mean, why would you assume what you were thinking? Well, it's just he has a reputation with the ladies. I can handle Dave. Don't underestimate him. I've handled the worst. Well, it's more than a sexual thing. It's a little game he plays with people. He loves to manipulate. <laughs> it's not fair that you pay since I asked you. I'm sorry, I'm an old-fashioned guy. Women don't buy me dinner. gun in his back. You face forward, or I'll blow a hole in him. Now drive! Just do what he says, Pete. Okay. Oh. <laughs> come on! Come on, come on, let's go! Come on! Empty your pockets. Wallet, money. 
There you go. That's everything. All right, get down your knees, both of you. Start crawling. Come on, come on, let's go. Keep crawling down this road. Bang! <laughs> Don't look back. That's right, Howard. 78 or 79 Chevy. Light color. I already contacted the other counties. You boys just concentrate on the back roads, all right? Nobody does this in my county. We get your badge? It was in my purse. How about your gun? I didn't have it with me. I thought this was the safest place on earth. Well, there's no need to get snotty, any. People have cars. They come in and they go out. There's not a hell of a lot we can do about that. Hey, Pete, you look like you're about to faint. Rich is in the back. He'll give you a lift home. I'll go with him. No. He'll come right back for you. i got a few more questions. Come on, Pete. I'll walk you out. Oh, you had kind of a big scare tonight. Yeah. I don't want you to have to go through that kind of thing again, huh? So do yourself a favor, Pete. Don't date her. Don't talk to her. Don't even walk near her. Got that? Yeah. Good. Good. You know, I went to bat for you with the bank to get you that house. Did you tell you that? Yeah, I appreciate it. You know, you got a real future with this town. Dave, I'm really tired. So why do you want to go out with Pete Dumpty? Excuse me? Come on, you need a man in your life. Not some wimped out bookkeeper who's going to crawl on his knees every time you need protection. Well, he was sitting there shaking like a hog to slaughter. I'm amazed he didn't soil himself. I don't need to listen to this. Oh, come on. Let go of me. How come you're so riled up? That man had a gun in his back, Dave. That would scare the hell out of anybody, even you. And you know something else? It is none of your business, but I am not going out with Pete Dunphy. I went to dinner with him, period. And you know something? I don't need a man in my life. I don't need protection. And how come you're in such a sorry state? Yourself. Well, you're lucky they uh, just took your cash, left everything else. What about Peter's wallet? Well, I didn't find it. This kid is a real idiot. He's driving around in a stolen vehicle with your purse hit under the seat. Like nobody's gonna spot it. Where is it? He's upstairs. Steve's talking to him. You know this from me. Huh? Rich, um, mine too. I swear, I just saw in the bushes, the keys were in the ignition, so I took it for a ride. I never even scratched the paint. I didn't do nothing to get hit for. Yeah? yeah. I'm not going to start telling people lies about me, Ronnie. If you're clumsy stone fall on your face, you're going to have to take the consequences. I didn't fall. Shut up! I want to know the other guy's name. 
There ain't nobody here. Ronnie! I don't think he's one of them. I'm interrogating the suspect here. I think you got the wrong guy. How the hell would you know it's the wrong guy? You told me they were wearing masks. I know how big they were. Get story checked out. He was in Mount Vernon at a party and the time Annie was mugged. Well, he was still driving a stolen car. Clean him up and book him for possession of stolen property. Listen to me. You need to stop meddling in my business right now, you understand? You don't want me to be sorry that I hired you. Cover. Annie, let her do her work and you do yours. Are you positive you're reading it properly? Two prisoners with bloody faces, one with a broken nose. How else would you read that? Well, it's uh, not that I, I don't know Dave has a temper. Hell, I played football with him. <laughs> you should have seen him in those days. He's settled down a lot. We're not talking about sports here. He's an officer of the law. I understand, but uh, the law here tends to be more personal. Why are you defending his behavior? Excuse me, deputy. You're out of line. I'm sorry. It's just that that kid in that cell did not deserve to be beaten up. I'll have a chat with Dave. A chat? I want to hear his side. There are two sides, right? You told me this would be confidential. Oh, I won't mention your name. You won't need to. He'll know it's me. Would you like me to let it go? No. Hello, dear. My name is Sarah. Do you honestly think that he's going to fire you? I don't care, you know? Yeah, except what are you going to do for the job? I don't know. And I only know police work. So that means you're going to have to move. Yeah. I like you being close to me. Yeah. I like it, too. It's... Look at it. That's the way it's supposed to be, you know. Peaceful, sweet. Morning. Morning. Coffee break. Patty, why don't you go to the diner and pick me up some bacon and eggs? You know how I like it. Did I say later? What about the phones? Well, put on the answering machine and get going. Have a seat. Am I fired? Sit down. Now you don't have much stomach for police work, do you? Not your kind. Look, if I'm fired, just tell You're me. You're not fired. You know I went to the county attorney. 
Do you know the topmost quality for command, Annie? Hmm? Insight. That's how I got this job, and that's how I keep it. Nothing gets by me, and nobody says no to me. Not the county attorney, not the mayor, and definitely not you. Now, I'm not going to fire you, because you amuse me. And one day, one day, you will say yes. Don't. Now, just one little kiss, huh? Get away from me. Now, there's one other thing you ought to know about me, Annie. I love resistance. Ow! but I didn't think I'd be that successful. I'm sorry I haven't called. I've just been swamped. Are you okay? No. I, um, I need some banker advice. If I were to quit my job, where would I stand with my house? Well, if you couldn't pay the mortgage, we'd have to foreclose. Can I get my down payment back? That would depend on what price we could get for your house. What do you mean, what price? I paid 180 for it a week ago. I doubt there's a market for your house at the price you paid. Are you saying I paid too much? No, no, I'm just saying that the buyers may not be there anymore. Why not? Well, that's the way the market works in this town. So I got in over my head because Dave did a nice thing for me. Yeah. Thank you very much for nothing. I know it's hard, honey, but you gotta look up for me, okay? That a girl. Max? Just sit tight. She insisted we call you. How's she doing? Well, she's got a couple of broken ribs. Neighbor found her at the side of the road, brought her in. Was she raped? Yes. I'm gonna do the workup on her. Christy? My daddy done it. I tried to fight him off, but he was just too strong. Was he drinking? Real bad. <laughs> he said it was my fault. He got his nose broke. Is he home? Maybe he, he was when I ran. You're safe here, honey, okay? My sister's gonna take good care of you. Only got four beds. She has nowhere to go. And I gotta buy some time for her. Don't let anybody have her, okay? Especially her father. Where are you going? I wanna go make sure her father doesn't get killed. I'm gonna get somebody to clean you up, okay? She's lying! You get her in here! You get her! Tell me to my face! How'd they do this to her? Christy's in the hospital. You wanna take him? Come on! You said she'd be safe. You want to tell her that? Annie, nobody talks to Dave like that. I'm 
sure I'm going to find out why real soon. you return the other coke bank. Yeah, well, I hated to do it, but regulations. And you split the coke up into two bags. Well, it seemed kind of dumb to hand over an empty bag. What was in it when you got it? Dirt. So why not return it the same way? Well, I couldn't find the same pile of dirt. Anything else? Nope. So, you thinking of quitting? You know where I stand with my house. You know I can't afford to quit. Yeah, I heard that. But I'm not staying here to amuse you. So if that's what you're expecting, you can fire me right now. Well, anything you do amuses me. It's all part of our little dance, Annie. talk to him. He knows my story. I deserve to know his. I'm running late, deputy. What, you can't talk while you walk? This isn't something to be discussed in public. Why? What do you tell you? Enough to put your accusations into doubt. Oh, so his word is gospel and mine is worth nothing. Actually, deputy, under the circumstances, your word is suspect. What circumstances? Excuse me, what circumstances? Your romantic interest in him. What? According to Dave, you've been persistent in your advances. He's had to fend you off. And being your old football buddy, you believe him, right? The people of this county have voted him into office five times. They trust him, I trust him. You're lucky he doesn't fire you. That's the point. Why doesn't he fire me? You're a single mother. You have a kid and a mortgage. I'd say Dave is being kind-hearted. Fred Brandon. What, what, what do you mean, release him? He made bail? Dave, we haven't even charged Are you him. deaf? No, no, no. Okay. No problem. Get me a cup of coffee. Setting up a story so I can't go after him. Not for anything. Sexual harassment, assault. No one in this town is going to believe anything that I say about him. You know, this is just getting too scary, Annie. Is it really worth going through all of this for $20,000? You know how hard I work to save that money. Yeah, well, it seems to me like you're still working for it. You know, Max, I don't have a doctor's income to look forward to. My future is not going to get any richer than it is right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. That's not a dig at you, and it's not a complaint. It's just this fact I have to live with. How's she doing? Those ribs are painful. I haven't had the heart to tell her her father called here. Father from jail? No, he's been released. Well, you didn't know this? Dave. Didn't hear you drive up. I know. You know what a liability is, Fred? Uh, it's a... a liability is someone who holds you back. Brings you down, threatens your position. Uh, I, I'm not a, a, a liar. Oh, yes, you are. You're a dirtbag who can't keep his hands off his daughter. And that makes you vulnerable to arrest, which makes you a potential songbird. Dave, hey, hey, I'd never rat out on you. Not after tonight. <laughs>
Who is it? Daddy, it's Patty. I have no place to go. Was it Dave? does he do this? It's been a couple of years since the last time. Penny, he gave you a black eye a week ago. Yeah, but before that it was a couple of years. I've been seeing him for close to ten, so that's not too bad, is it? Once is bad enough. Was he drinking? I can't say that was it. He just came in all wild and aggressive, like he just needed to hit somebody. And I was there. It's hard to know what'll set him off. Sometimes, maybe it's me. I say something dumb. I wear the wrong thing. And then he just goes off. He doesn't want me talking to you, that's for sure. But you hear anyway? Yeah. So why'd you come? I don't know. Maybe because I really can't count on any anyone in town. They're all so scared of him. But you, you don't seem scared. Maybe I'm dumb. Don't say that about yourself. Me, I'm dumb. Ten years of my life with this man. I'm not even believing anymore that he's going to leave his wife and marry me. I'm up my own bloody nose. <laughs> Does she know about you? Ruth? She knows what she wants to know. That's how she gets through life. She could catch us in bed together and never believe her eyes. Can you walk away from me? I've wanted to for years. But no one walks away from Dave. I could tell you stuff. What stuff? What you don't know won't hurt you. Can't hurt you. Just leave it at that. Patty, Christy Brandon was raped because Dave did not do his job. That innocent kid was beaten up. So what you don't know can hurt you. You have no idea how powerful he is. So what do you want to do? You want to nurse your wounds and go back for more? No. You want me to help you? I want to be free. But I don't want him going to jail for it. Okay. Then let's just start with what he's done to us. It's sexual harassment. You want to get a lawyer? Yeah. You put me in the hospital. Once this lawsuit is out in the open, he wouldn't dare to touch either one of us. So until then, all we have to do is meet in secret and never be chummy at the office. You know what they'll do to me in court? Me too. But I've had an affair with a married man. Patty, he was your boss. He took advantage of his power. All I need to know is that I can count on you. Can I? Why would you do this? Right away, before those bruises on your face fade. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'll take care of you. Morning, Dave. Morning. Where's Patty? I took the morning off. She's visiting the dentist. She didn't tell me. Doc Bayless? Some specialist in Seattle. Where's Eddie? Day off.
Find a bitch for me. Right away. Okay, Gary, that'll do it. Thank you. I just want to make it clear that neither one of us has a nickel in the bank, and as soon as the suit is launched, we probably won't have jobs. Isn't that why you came to me? Actually, we heard you were the best. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm aware of my reputation. Sucker for a just cause. This, this is a just cause. This guy is some piece of work. I want you to think about possible witnesses to any abuse inflicted on you. Also, if he put anything down on paper that you've kept, gather it up for me. I kept all the cards he sent me. He's not much of a romantic on paper. It, it could be nothing more than a boss being nice to his secretary. Let me be the judge. I doubt that any deputies will testify against him, no matter what they saw. Well, get me whatever names you can. People have been known to tell the truth when forced into court. Now, this abuse, is it confined to sex, or does it spill over into his job? What? I promised Patty that we wouldn't get into that area. Are you afraid of reprisals? I just don't want to talk about it. If there's a pattern of abusive behavior on any level, it will help your case. No. Rich called in. Uh, he couldn't track down Annie, but he found Patty's car parked at the market. She wasn't anywhere around there. in the big city. You're gonna give me every single detail and don't even try lying because you know I'll catch you up on it, right? And you don't want to see me mad, right? Right? Right. Neighbor found him this morning. Looks like he's been dead a while. Well, judging from the blood on his head, took a pretty bad fall. Probably drunk. Trip. Hit his head on this. You gonna call in the state forensic boys? Well, I don't see much need for it. How about to rule out foul play? What do you think, Rich? Look like foul play to you? It was a straightforward case of a drunk rapist atoning for sins. Rich here, he's got a biblical streak. I hear you had a real fine time in Seattle. My lines of communication are endless. Please, Annie, walk away from this. Did he threaten you? Walk 
away. The question is, do you still want to pursue this on your own? Nobody's going to believe my word against his. Well, I've got to assume that what he's done to you and Patty, he's done to others. By going public, you might just flush out some of them. Yeah, I might just get myself killed. I'll tell you what, I, I'll put this suit on hold for now. You be careful. Okay. Bye. She's not moving. I know, but she's not running away either. Go on, get a little bit closer, honey. Really slow. Slow, slow, slow. Will she bite? No, she won't. She has teeth. <laughs> no, cows have teeth. They don't bite. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, honey. Go on. You, you could have killed us. Dave? You bastard. Oh, Annie. No such language in front of the girl? Well, that's a terrible example. How you doing, Sarah? I'm real sorry we scared you. We were just hunting. Want to see our permits? Get off my property. You know, I guess Pete should have warned you. Your property here is it's real close to real prime hunting territory. You never know when a bullet might stray off target. I'll bring you some medicine, darling. Don't shoot her! Come on. Miss Annie, go ahead with the suit. You sure? Oh, yeah. I will lose my house, my money, whatever. I'm gonna get it. You took this phone number, but this phone number is no longer in service. It's the number they gave me. I don't work. Stay busy. No. We have a situation. What? Sexual harassment. That little tease. Well, we're about out of here today. Hey, hold on, Dave. Federal law says you can't fire her without cause. Now, suing you doesn't mean she's not doing her job. You can give her administrative leave with pay. That's the best you can do. I pay her for doing nothing? No way. If you fire her, you're only going to make this worse than it is right now. Under the circumstances, nobody in county administration is going to be upset if you send her home with pay. You're right. You know what this is, Mark? This is nothing. Well, no one in the county is going to believe this. Only I'm not sending her home. Dave. All this girl's done is make life miserable for herself. I want you to come with me. I would love to, honey, but I can't right now. I've got something to do. It's very important. Please, stuff. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it either. But sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like because it's right, you know? I love you. I love you. You're a good girl, okay? okay. Come on, honey, we gotta go. She's gonna be fine. I know. Thanks for doing this. Are you kidding me? Three months without a day off, they owe this to me. You're the house keys. Now, I want you to promise me that you are going to stay. That cabin is far too isolated. I will. I'll get some clothes after work and come back. Okay. You call me tonight? I will. Okay. Be careful. I will. Okay. I love you. Love you, too.
Betty, why don't you come on in here too? I can't chance being alone with this woman. Well, Betty, you ever seen me touch this woman? No. You ever seen me use sexual language when speaking to her? No. What's your point? Well, I'm just trying to establish in your mind the kind of testimony you're going to hear in court. Even from your good friend Patty here. And I thought you were a bright lady. That's your problem, Dave. You've never thought any woman was bright or a lady. the lawsuit and I think you're very brave but no buts I admire what you're doing I apologize for not warning you about the house I should never have let that happen and I don't feel very good about myself right now deservedly well I just want you to know sure about your harassment suit against Sheriff Ward. Why is the FBI interested in sexual harassment? Oh, we're interested in you. We've been conducting an investigation to Sheriff Ward for the past six months. What for? Dope dealing, smuggling. We believe there isn't a criminal activity in this county that he doesn't control, either directly or through some form of payoff. Problem is, we don't have any hard evidence and nobody who can help us find some. We were close with Fred Brandon, but uh, he showed up dead. What would Fred Brandon be able to tell you about Dave? He was tied into a smuggling operation. They were friends? Long time. I thought he was beating up Fred Brandon over child abuse. You saw that beating? Yeah. He beat up another kid, uh, um, like a young kid named Ronnie something. It's in the arrest report. Well, Brandon can't testify, but the kid can. If he's not scared off like everyone else in this county, except you. Yeah, well, I'm too mad to be scared off. I'll tell you what we need. You tell us if you can get it. Nobody can run an operation this size without a place to store the contraband. Now, we can get a court order and go looking for it, but we have no idea where to start. If we guess wrong, it'll give them time to destroy it. Can you pinpoint it for us? No. No. If he even sees me looking for it, he'll get suspicious. But Patty might know. His secretary? Yeah. I can't guarantee she'll talk because she's terrified of him. But I'll try her. We'd appreciate that. I'm just glad my lawyer contacted you. Your lawyer? Eleanor Bradley? No, we've been auditing Ward's accounts at the bank. Uh, Pete Dunphy suggested we contact you. It's not county, it's not state. These guys are FBI. They're not afraid of him, they don't owe him anything, they're gonna bring him down. You'll know I told. You'll be protected. Patty, this is your chance to get away from him. You can start fresh. You can stop being afraid every time he walks through the door.
Somebody tipped him off. Came for your housewarming. I'm really gonna enjoy this party. Whatever happens here, all fingers are pointing at you. Wrong. Right now, I'm having dinner with two upstanding citizens who will testify to that in any court. If you think you're gonna rape me, Dave, you're gonna have to kill me first. Well, whatever it takes. I told you, no one ever says no to me. Patty tried it. Freddy Brandon. I ruined a perfectly good flashlight on that dumb skull. Oh. Oh. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Oh. 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 You're going to pay for that little bruise, girl. You wouldn't shoot me, would you? In a hot minute. Well, I thought you liked me, Annie. Nobody likes you, Dave. You're a pathetic man, and you know it. You have to try and use power to get a woman. And one more step, and you're a dead man. Really? Now, when are you going to stop underestimating me, huh? Were you born dance, or is it that big city training of yours? You're not going to shoot me with that gun. Why not? Because I filed down the firing pin. On the gun you issued? On that gun. If this gun is the gun you issued. It's the first thing you should learn about big city cops, Dave. We always carry a backup. This is my dad's gun. You're bluffing. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. You have the guts to find out? The problem with you, Dave, is ego. Because you were bound to come for me sooner or later. And you were bound to talk too much. Think about killing Fred Brandon. So who underestimated who? Come and get him. Don't! No. think the people of my county are gonna put me in prison? Maybe not. I don't think they're gonna have a chance to make that decision, Dave. Ever heard of a change of venue? Let's go. Can you get off? Not this time. Not on a federal charge. Free. Yeah, you're free. <laughs> what about tomorrow? Who do we work for? I don't know. I guess the county needs a new sheriff. Maybe I have a know. I think that might shake things up a little bit. <laughs> shake things up? That would be great. 